Hey guys, Chris Wolf PT here again with Garrett McLaughlin. Looking forward to the upcoming seminar where we're looking at some running analysis, video analysis, and that's what we're talking about today. Vertical displacement, okay? It's a fancy term for basically how high do you go up during your running cycle and come down, okay? The intended um, expectation for where we're running is to put all of our energy and force to move on a horizontal plane, not vertically. We waste a lot of energy, a lot of strength, and increase our injury risk if we spend too much time going up because we got to come back down, okay? That's called vertical displacement. If it's too high, not so great for us, okay? So what does that even look like? And then what does it even look like when we correct it, okay? The thing we look like in video is basically um, how much at the bottom part of your running cycle, okay? And that's basically when your one leg is directly underneath you, that's the lowest point of your stride. And then when you're towing off and trying to swing your leg forward, that's gonna be the highest point of your stride as well. We're looking at the difference, okay? We want that as small as possible because then it means that you're spending all of your energy going forward, okay? I'm gonna demonstrate what a high vertical displacement looks like, okay? Then I'm gonna come back and show you what that should look like when it's corrected. All right, so we will show you a slow motion version of that. However, right now, that was a really high vertical displacement for me. Now I'm gonna spend you a few seconds starting off with that, and then I'm gonna correct it, okay? See if you can tell the difference. So I went from a high vertical displacement to a low one, okay? Reducing my injury risk, saving energy and strength as well, okay? Let's look at that now in slow motion.